Yo, what's up guys? Proximity here. Today I want to go over five tips with my absolute favorite weapon from Halo 5, the Magnum. I've put in tons of practice over the duration of Halo 5 to improve my play with the Magnum, and I'm proud to say that I currently have the best average perfects per game in the world in Halo 5's FFA, with the majority of my perfects coming from the Magnum. This took a ton of practice, but it's quite a proud achievement of mine, so today I'm going to try and teach you the five things I focused on most to improve my Magnum shot. Keep in mind, these are just things that I focus on and I see constant improvement, so they might work for you, and I hope they do, however there is a chance that they might not work for you. Anyways, moving forward. A few things out of the way early on, these aren't going to count as my actual tips, but obviously you want to make sure that you have a comfortable sensitivity. Here's what I use, I'll put it on screen in case you want to try my settings. Another thing is to no joke, have a skin that you like equipped. Comfortability is a big thing for me, so it's important to be comfortable and relaxed while playing yourself. Sometimes a skin just doesn't look right to me, and it actually, I feel like, affects my shot. So make sure you're playing with something you're comfortable with. And then, most importantly, you're going to have to practice. Use the Magnum more than other weapons in-game. If you see a BR, try not to grab it, just use your Magnum for a bit. If you're trying to focus on your Magnum, that is. If you want to just play for the win, grab the BR and all. But try to do that. Play a lot of Octagon with your friends. Just focus on the Magnum and then play Warzone Assault and only use your Magnum. Repetition and constant firing with the Magnum will of course improve your shot. Now on to the proper top 5 here. My first tip is to pace yourself, but do it wisely. Sometimes I feel like people just try to shoot the Magnum at full firing speed at all times, and that can really affect your accuracy negatively if you were just kind of being a little shaky on that day. So sometimes, if you're in like a close range for example, I like to pace my shots because it feels easier whenever they're like really close to being in my face. I can focus more on just hitting the shot versus, you know, just hammering that trigger. Sometimes it's easier to just pace it, but, you know, it's at the certain range if that makes sense. At a long range as well, if I can't zoom in, I will try to pace my shots as well. But if it's a medium range, I'll try to hit it at full firing speed. So I say do it wisely, meaning you need to be able to know when is an okay time to pace your shots and when is an okay time to rip them off full speed. Because if you're at a mid range and they're going to be shooting full speed and you're trying to pace, you're going to lose that fight because you're shooting too slow. But in other scenarios, for me, if I'm at close range, I'll just miss more if I try to shoot fast. Um, and so I'll try to shoot slower and it works for me. So give that a try, but make sure you're doing it in a smart time. Okay, my next tip is reticle placement. Now, this is a very big one uh, in Counter-Strike, for example. It's all about where you're looking at all times, so you're being able to be prepared for an enemy to walk around the corner. Um, this is the same idea. If you know that you're thinking, or if you think that somebody is a certain area on the map, you want to just go ahead and be looking at it. Rather than, like, you know, looking in that direction, have your reticle placed exactly where you think they're going to walk. This is going to improve your first shot with your Magnum fights. You're already going to have it on them, most likely, if you do it wisely. And it's going to give you the first shot in the gunfight, and it should just make the rest of your shots easy following up. So try to work on reticle placement, try to pay attention where you think they're going to be, and go ahead and start looking that way. Now this next tip might seem obvious to some people, also might seem a little bit weird, but it's to disregard the outer circle of the reticle. Just try to focus to those inner brackets that bloom when you shoot. Uh, if you're descoped and you're at a long range, the outer circle will absolutely do nothing in the, for like your shot. You have to pay attention to the inner circle. And honestly, I just try to completely ignore the outer circle completely because your bullet's always going to go where the inner circle is, those inner brackets. So if you can focus on that when trying to shoot long range while you're descoped, uh, you know, try to sh just focus on that even at mid range. Try to get that part on their head. Don't worry about the whole circle because the whole circle is not going to help you. It is just an aesthetic. And so that is something I, 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 I preach to people. If you are at a mid range to long range and you're trying to be accurate, just focus on the inner circle. Just aim with that. Completely ignore the outer part. Like I said, that might seem obvious to some people, but some people might not have thought about it that way. Okay, this next tip is to try to avoid pegging. And pegging is referred to as... Uh, I saw somebody refer to it as this, and I'm not really sure who said it, but it w it's when your joysticks touch the rim of the controller. If you push it all the way to one direction, it'll hit that wall, that circle. Try to avoid doing that while you're shooting. This works for me. It might not work for you, but I never peg while I'm trying to shoot my Magnum. Uh, I only do it if I'm trying to like whip no scope or something, but otherwise I try to keep it within those walls and just kind of, it just makes me keep my thumb really steady. It makes me keep focused on just trying to keep my shot really smooth. So give that a try. Try to avoid pegging your stick and whip shotting everything. Try to keep it all real smooth. Kind of get that no, that no flick shooting. Try to give that a try. See if it'll work for you. And my last tip is to use your strafe to help you aim, but do not over strafe. Overstrafing can really affect your shot if you're trying to focus too much on making the other person miss and you're, you're causing yourself to miss as well. You don't want that. That can be something that really works against your magnum shot. So you want to be able to be confident with your own strafe and comfortable with it. You know, if you're going to plan on a thrust strafe, you need to be able to, you know, back that up with your 
accuracy. You need to be able to be prepared for the thrust and be able to shoot still accurately. If the thrust is making you miss, for example, maybe you should like not thrust until you have that down or practice that more, but your strafe does not need to hurt your shot. It needs to help your shot. I always aim with both sticks. The left stick is helping me just as much as the right stick because of what I'm explaining to you right now. So make sure you're focused on that. If you feel like you're over strafing, try to tone down your strafe for a bit and just focus on hitting your own shots. And then once you're more comfortable with doing that, bump up your strafe a little bit. Okay guys, so those were five quick tips on the Magnum. I really hope you can put some of these into practice and help improve your shot. The most important thing I can say is to make sure you give yourself time. None of these things are gonna improve your shot overnight. And even if they do, I mean, maybe they will, but you need to understand that I've been doing these exact tips I'm mentioning for months. These help my own shot improve. So do this and if you give it some time, give it a couple weeks, give it a couple days at least, you might see improvement. And if you do, that's amazing. Please come out of this video and let me know if it helped you. I really hope it does. I know this has been a widely requested video. A lot of you guys wanted to hear it from me. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and you know, comment what you thought was the most interesting tip or comment what tip you feel like is gonna help you the most if any of them seem like they're gonna help you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one.